also on the agenda for lawmakers. New numbers show e-cigs are more popular than traditional cigarettes among teens. Of course, that has the attention of lawmakers. They're considering increasing the tax on e-cigs and putting more regulations on the stores that sell them. Not everyone is in favor, though. Tony Reed makes everything he sells in his downtown South Bend store. We make everything here in-house by me, so I know exactly what I'm putting in it. Reed owns Indigo Vapor, an e-cigarette and vape shop. His store is one of many popping up as the popularity of e-cigarettes grows. Supporters of the product claim it's a better alternative to cigarettes. But critics say the sweet flavors and fancy packaging is attracting youth at an alarming rate. We just want to make sure that we have some regulation on that and that we're trying to keep them out of the hands of youth. And now Indiana lawmakers are considering adding more regulation to the sale of e-cigs. Some lawmakers have proposed requiring stores have a license, adding e-cigs to Indiana's statewide smoking ban, requiring packaging be child resistant, and taxing e-cigs like regular cigarettes. There's no justification for a 24% tax. I, I believe the, the motivation or what they're saying is that it'll get quit kids to stop vaping. Well, there's no evidence that 24% will do anything except raise a little extra money for Indiana. But advocates of the bill say it's about health. And while Reed says none of the ingredients are dangerous and willingly puts ingredients and warning labels on his packaging, not every store does the same. Still, he says more regulations and tax would drive customers out of local stores and onto the Internet. We have six employees and we pay them very well. Um, and we've built a nice space, I think, in, in a part of South Bend that could use some nice spaces built. And I hate to see a money grab by the state, you know, jeopardize that. According to the FDA, the risks and benefits, as well as how much nicotine or other potentially harmful chemicals are being inhaled during the use of e-cigs is unknown. Now, the FDA has asked for more authority to regulate e-cigarettes, but a ruling has not been issued. At the live desk, I'm Kristen Bean, WSBT 22 News. Thanks, Kristen. If you have a link